Do you want to make delicious vegan burgers at home that taste like the ones you buy in the supermarket but are high in protein, low in fat and really good for your health? This is the recipe for you. As a nutritionist and a gym rat, I've been trying to work out forever how to make the ultimate healthy burger that's high enough in protein to suit my goals but not full of crap like you find in the you know commercial varieties. Um, the secret is to use textured vegetable protein. I've found the ultimate recipe now, and this is what I'm gonna show you today. But with the TVP, it's basically pressed soybeans, so they take the oil out because they want the soybean oil, but you're left with the protein, the fiber, all the micronutrients that are not fat soluble, which is most of them. It's a really good ingredient to cook with. So this is gonna be our base ingredient. Gemma, how much of this do we need? 50 grams. 50 grams. You'll also need a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of tomato puree, 250 mils of water, one teaspoon of cumin, paprika, dried herbs and garlic, a pinch of black pepper, 35 grams of chickpea flour, 15 grams of breadcrumbs, we've gone for brown rice, and one tablespoon of flax seeds. So add the water to your pan, TVP, soy sauce, tomato puree, cumin, paprika, mixed herbs, garlic powder, and a pinch of black pepper. Give it all a good stir. Put the lid on and bring it to the boil. Take the lid off, and then you wanna just lower this to a simmer. Oh, I just burnt my hand off. Lower it to a simmer, and then just let it reduce, basically, till all the water's evaporated. It's a shame they didn't invent smell vision yet. This smells delicious. Now we're gonna make a flax egg. So you need a tablespoon of flax meal. And it's basically one part flax meal, three parts water. Give that a mix. And then you need to let that stand for 10 minutes. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. Add 35 grams of chickpea flour, 15 grams of breadcrumbs, and the flax egg. Mix well and set aside for 10 minutes. I thought we'd just take a minute to appreciate how cute this cat is. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. So we want to divide this into roughly two equal parts, and then we're going to make some balls. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Pop it on your greaseproof paper. Squash it down. So we're trying to make a nice fat burger patty. Probably wet my hand in between times would be better. Cook for 40 minutes, flipping halfway. Of course we want a few healthy veggies to go on. So we'll have a bit of tomato. Some onions and a little bit of lettuce. Now the fun part, I'll add on a bit of mustard. My gob's not big enough, and I've got a big trap. Mmm. <laughs> oh God, damn! So much flavour, crunchy and crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, armadillos! No, don't worry, no armadillos were harmed in the filming of this awesome recipe. <laughs> If you'd like to optimize your health, body shape, or sports performance while not purposefully harming animals, check out our online service where we offer coaching, nutrition plans, and consultations. You get to eat lovely, delicious food, and you get to look awesome. What have you got to lose? See you in the next video.